Now to a story you'll only see on ABC Action News. People living in Winter Haven say they've been forced out of their own homes, claiming their condos are infested with mold. ABC Action News reporter Andrea Lyon found out why code enforcement is now stepping in. It's like a waterfall down my wall just coming in. Walk into Erica Ray's condo. And we've got mold and black mold in here. And the smell of mildew and moisture is overwhelming. I was already sick and every morning I was getting up and I was just coughing. My children were coughing. With chemo treatments and her health at risk, Erica made the decision to get out. She's staying in a nearby hotel thanks to other Royal Crescent neighbors. They're literally paying for uh, me and my children to be able to to live. I'm trying to cry in this place so we don't have to be here and risk a chance of me either dying or getting sick from the mold. Royal Crescent Condominiums property manager confirmed to ABC Action News mold and water issues have been reported for decades. I haven't been able to live here for over a year. Sarai Cruz says she's had issues with water leaking into her apartment the past five years. You go inside and I started coughing so much and then I couldn't breathe. Although residents own their condos, the HOA is responsible for exterior maintenance. Sarai pays $280 a month in HOA fees. Erica pays three oh five and I'm just not seeing my money at work here. If it was me personally, until we can get the problem fixed, I would move out. Joe Garrison, the property manager, tells me only 60% of owners are paying their fees. It's going to take money and, um, you know, if they want to continue to own the place, um, every member, every resident owner over there is going to have to step up and eventually pay a special assessment. And the only option they're left with is evicting those who don't pay and raising the rates for those who do. Winter Haven's code enforcement is aware of the issues, even filing notices to fix doors, roofing, drainage, and more. It's an outcry, and it's not right with, with what's going on here. Those living here at the Royal Crescent condominiums are hoping to have a meeting on Friday at the Quality Inn. They're hoping to get at least 80% of the people living here at the condo so they can dissolve the current HOA. That meeting starts at 7. In Polk County, Andrea Lyon, ABC Action News.